Our immune system works really well when it comes to protecting us from sickness. In fact, it does the job a little too well. We'd be blind if our eyes didn't have unique strategies to shield themselves. If you're unlucky, this defense might fail and your body will start attacking your eyes. To understand why this happens, we have to briefly take a look at how our immune system works or else what I'm about to say just isn't going to make much sense. The immune system can be categorized into two main components. Our first line of defense is called the innate immune system. This includes our skin that prevents pathogens from entering our body and the stomach acid that destroys unwanted guests that are sneakier and try to hide in our food. <laughs> if one of these fails to do the job, we have immune cells that can deal with the intruders. They're called macrophages and neutrophils and have a variety of defense mechanisms. They provide a quick and general response to any potential threat. By quick, I mean it takes our innate immune system usually seconds up to a few hours to react. But in case this wasn't enough to eliminate the disease completely, our adaptive immune system comes into play. It is slower to respond but highly specialized. It knows exactly which cells are needed for which illness. Even if our body has never encountered a certain pathogen before, our adaptive immune system will try to find a way to deal with the enemy and build antibodies for this exact threat. And after the job is done, it doesn't forget the encounter and next time it has to deal with the same intruder, it will be able to respond a lot quicker and be more efficient. Some ways our immune cells deal with the enemies are to digest them or for our cells to destroy themselves. This will kill the pathogens but also some of our own healthy tissue as collateral damage. But at that point our body doesn't really care about some additional damage. Another way is to start an inflammatory process in the place the pathogens were found. This increases blood flow and oxygen in the area and essentially turns it into a battlefield as more and more of your immune cells come to help. And after the intruders are removed, your body starts healing the affected area. Now that we know that, how is our eye's defense mechanism different? Well, there are a few distinct features. This is our eye's anatomy. The cornea is the transparent part of the eye right here. Behind the cornea is our pupil through which light gets into our eye. Then there is the retina which encircles the eye's inner side and sends signals to the brain to interpret the incoming light and create a picture for us. The cornea lacks blood vessels which creates an obstacle for our immune cells because they have a very hard time getting there. On top of that there is also the so-called blood eye barrier. This prevents that too many of our body's defense cells get inside our eyes through the blood vessels that are actually connected to our eyes. Imagine it's a fancy club that only allows A-list celebrities inside. Because of that there are way less macrophages and neutrophils in our eyes compared to the rest of our body. But there is even more, there are immunosuppressive molecules present that act like bodyguards. If any of the immune cells that are inside your eyes try to start an immune response, the bodyguards will stop them in their tracks. All these special mechanisms are known as immune privilege. Our eyes are not the only body part with this privilege, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. Immune privilege is a crucial defense strategy. It allows our eyes to coexist with certain pathogens without jeopardizing our vision. And here's the interesting part. As mentioned earlier, our body's incredible healing mechanisms come into play after a battle with intruders. But our bodies can't always repair the affected tissue 100%. There might still be damage or even scarring left. Now imagine we have scarring on our retina. This could lead to black spots in our vision and eventually causing blindness if it happened repeatedly on different parts of the retina or even in other areas of the eye. Sadly, the immune privilege is not foolproof and doesn't always work as intended. It might get disrupted due to certain health conditions like autoimmune disease or severe eye injuries, both of which could lead to uncontrolled inflammation in the eyes. Not only that, there is also the risk that our body's immune system starts attacking the eyes because put simply, the immune privilege goes both ways. Your body's immune cells have a hard time entering your eyes and similarly your eye cells don't wander around in the rest of your body. When your eyes get injured, however, cells from your eyes could get lost and wound up elsewhere. And since your body doesn't know these types of cells, it could mistake them for intruders and start attacking your eyes because of that. Isn't that crazy? Let me know what you think about this topic and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.